Hello and welcome back to the video tutorial of editing uh, your website using Qubit. Um, this time we're going to discuss the, uh, the steps on how to uh, edit your website um, using photographs and uploading photos, and uploading uh, PDF files and things like that. Um, so go ahead and uh, go to your website and um, forward slash admin, uh, click login, your password should be saved. Uh, the next step is to choose the page you're going to edit. This time we're going to go to services. Um, then you choose the photo that you want to uh, replace. You'll click on the photograph and then the uh, insert edit image icon, which is the little picture of a tree. And um, then your um, window will open uh, to that describes the the page or the location of the, the image and of course shows a little thumbnail of the image but you click the icon that says browse to the right and the icon doesn't say browse but when you move your mouse over it says browse um, you'll get to know that little button basically that's what opens up the uh, image manager and uh, inside the image manager you'll see uh, possibly a folder and then of course the images that are located on your on the server for your website um, you can change the uh, number of images that show per page. I'm going to change it to 100 even though there aren't that many pages uh, worth of uh, images but uh, you can also take this window and resize the window so you can see more images and adjust the way it looks. Um, if you want to go uh, basically what you'll do is you'll click the image that you want to drop in and uh, in this case we're going to drop in this image with the clipboard so we click on it and it sets the path to that image and then it shows you a little version of the photo. So we'll go ahead and hit update and there's the image in the place that uh, of the other one and uh, let's say you wanted to enlarge it or shrink it you just grab the corner and shrink it down uh, or you can enlarge it to the size that you want I uh, don't recommend doing this very very much uh, only because it does change the way the image looks uh, the images are usually set to specific dimensions at 72 dpi which is the best uh, the best dpi to set it's what's called screen resolution it's what most people see uh, when they go to the website on the front end. Um, there are, is it is possible to upload a you know six megapixel image from, from your digital camera um, and shrink it down and, and everything but it is going to take a little while to load and you've probably seen that on people's website where the image just slowly loads vertically down to the very bottom and that's usually because they um, they didn't size their images properly. Uh, they're probably um, around three or four hundred dpi which is way overkill for the internet. Um, Anyway, once you've uh, inserted the image and sized it the way you want, um, then you're, you're all set and you go ahead and hit save. And then, um, like I mentioned before, you want to click the, the tab and, and refresh um, to, to show the difference. Actually, we're on the services page. Um, and you'll see the new photo there. And um, um, of course, we're going to um, now upload a new image. So you click the same image. You, of course, uh, you select the, the photo and then you click the insert image, insert edit image icon. Uh, then you click the browse button and from here you want to you don't want to choose an image that's on the server already you want to upload an image to the server so in that case you'll click the upload button and then uh, the upload window appears you'll hit choose file and it'll go to your computer and in this case my uh, my window is fairly large so I'm going to shrink that down um, and you want to go to your images folder wherever you want to choose images from in this case I'm going to go ahead and um, choose a logo that I have done for a, a friend of mine and um, once you've chosen the image go ahead and hit um, upload to server and then it, it processes the upload and you'll see the taskbar there, a progress bar showing you um, the progress of it once it's finished it'll show 100% status and then um, that means the image is uploaded uh, what it's doing right now is it's saving the file onto the server so that you can choose from it in your in your options or in your um, your folder there. So close that window out and then go look for the image. And there it is. There's the image we picked. Uh, I'm going to go and insert. And if you'll notice, it's quite large. Um, the photo is probably way too big than and bigger than it should be. It won't fit on the page. So what I'm going to do is um, go back in and I'm going to edit this photo. And you can do that through the browser through the through our uh, editor so just click the little drop down button and it, um, choose edit and then another window opens up and as you can see this image is way too large for the website um, you'll oftentimes have this uh, 
be the case when you upload an image from your digital camera because if it's a five or six megapixel image it's going to create uh, much larger images than you need so you click the resize button and then um, usually keep constrained proportions on and uh, let's say we're going to make this um, 250 pixels wide hit apply and you'll see the size is just about right for what we need then you go ahead and hit save and it asks you how you want to save it and then we'll call this um, deer logo um, and we're going to hit save and then what it does is it saves a duplicate you've got the original you've got the original down here and you've got the new one here and, um, and you know by the name of the file so uh, since we're not going to need a large one we can go ahead and delete it so hit delete yes I'm sure I want to do this and now we have the version that looks like what we want we'll go ahead and hit that button and we notice that the size is correct hit update and there's our logo place where we want it to be and go ahead and hit save Then we switch over to the front end and refresh and there it is. Our website's updated with the new logo, and everything's good. Of course, I'm going to undo this, so I'm going to go delete. Um, take that back. I'm going to select the file, replace it with another image that I'm going to choose. In this case, I'm going to choose the one that was there before, and hit update, and save. And now we're back to the way we were after we hit refresh. There we go. All right. And uh, that's that's how you upload an image, and as well as editing the image. And uh, this concludes this lesson. The next lesson is going to be on uh, uploading PDFs and um, setting links to PDFs, as well as links to um, other pages and other uh, websites. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.